In the last few years, we experienced an uh, increasing demand of uh, Gallium 68 for research purposes and also for clinical purposes. We have already a considerable experience with the PSMA Gallium 68 PET CT in patients with prostate cancer for the past uh, two and a half years and we have already performed uh, several hundred uh, diagnostic procedures. With the, uh, the PSMA, we have the advantage of uh, uh, getting a whole body uh, image where we can see and have a better uh, understanding of the overall uh, disease burden, irrespectively of uh, the organ affected. Our life became hard with the generators. It was not cost efficient. We could only take through two, three doses a day. We made a res big research project together with the IBA to optimize the production of gallium-68 from a new target, a new liquid target. Collaboration has been set up with IGNAS, based in Coimbra, Portugal, and we develop a complete solution for gallium production starting with liquid target. So in that field, we start with the target on cyclotron up to the solution ready to be injectable. Everything starts as the cyclotron, where you have the irradiation and which reach the zinc solution. After that, you have the chemistry part, the pulse process. This pulse process is performed on this entire extension in two steps. After that, you have the final labeling that can be done either with a cold kit, a lyophilized uh, precursor, a peptide, or with the Sintera synthesizer for the labeling of different types of peptides. This whole process, all the way from the irradiation of the cyclotron up to the labeling, is patented. With this process, we could create a methodology of making gallium in a daily basis, three, four, five productions a day, to fulfill all, all demands. We are in now in a position to do it for cl clinical, to do it in a much more cost-efficient way than a generator. It can easily be set up in any, any existing center. When we have a high yield cyclotron with high yield targets, we can produce all the FDG that we need during the night, and then during the day we have time for research. With PSMA we can also uh, perform teranostics because we, instead of targeting PSMA with gallium-68, if we target it with lutetium-177, we can uh, actually the image and treat the patient with the same molecule, just changing the isotope. We are very happy to see the, how useful it is, how it uh, grown our uh, research capabilities.